All right, so here we are in the studio of Mr. Merkline. Uh, we're doing some filming here all week as he is creating a new action figure, which is very exciting. Got the old buck, got the 360 turnaround from Ron Rudat. More to come on that. Um, but this man is just a creative genius. He's got beautiful paintings everywhere. Uh, he's got obviously a career. He, he loves aviation painting. Done some really nice paintings of those. There's just art on the walls everywhere and it's all very brilliant. It's very inspiring to be here. Um, he's got current work up on the easel that he's working on. So he's just a, a creative powerhouse. It's been very, very impressive and reinvigorating to be here and see some of the paintings that he's put together over the years. So um, with that said, this is his painting setup, which is really cool. So let's go upstairs and look at some, the paperwork that we've been dividing out by brand. All right, so here's all the paperwork and I'll go brand by brand. So this is all cops and let's see. Okay, this is called uh, Bug Builders and we'll get into each brand here in just a little bit. This is the absolute, Absolutely Animals. This is Dungeons and Dragons. This is Mr. T. This is unknown, kind of random. We'll go through that. And then this is all G.I. Joe. So there's still a lot of G.I. Joe to go through. And then there's Visionaries, a ton of Visionary stuff. He did all the holograms. Back in the day, holograms had to be sculpted at one-to-one -one scale. And so he was very sought after for hologram sculpting because working at that scale was quite a challenge. So there's a ton of visionary stuff in there. Anyway, why don't we just start with the visionaries? So this is all the visionaries paperwork that Mr. Bill Merkline has. And back in the day, he would sculpt these holograms at a one-to-one -one scale, which is absolutely tiny. So I'll put this up just as a separate Visionaries video, and hopefully those of you fans that are absolute diehard Visionary fans will be able to find and purchase this from Mr. Merkline. I will be here for a week, so we have approximately a week to pull items that you're interested in, agree on pricing, and get that money to Mr. Merkline. Trying to give you guys a good look at each page because I know there's specific characters you might connect with. So just trying to give you guys a glance at each page. So if there's something that you connect with, you can certainly drop something in the comments and uh, I can take individual photos. But I would say Visionaries is probably the second most covered brand by this paperwork collection. There's a ton of Visionaries paperwork here. That's why it got its own bin while I was going through it. And the thing I found interesting about this is Neil Adams is all over this stuff, uh, his signature. I believe, uh, and I also saw Continuity Studios, which is Neil Adams' old studio that Larry Hama used to work out of, I do believe. So, interesting when worlds collide like that. Yeah, see Continuity right there? And then Neil Adams' name is all over this stuff. So, for those of you that don't aren't, aren't big comic book fans, Neil Adams is a hugely popular uh, comic book illustrator. So this is one of the, uh, this is the Spectral Stallion. Very cool image. So yeah, these were the holograms. There's some three-dimensional, uh, I think this indicated which things would stick out the most. So the hoof and the horn would stick out the most. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, there's also stuff like this. This is a work request. So this is basically when he got the assignment from Hasbro. This is the paperwork that they sent him. Excuse me, I'm gonna pull a chair around instead of hunching over this stuff all day. So this is a work request. And uh, it basically says, you know, one sculpted holographic image for visionary character, anti Burin DL image. And will be 11 sixteenths of an inch by 17 30 seconds of an inch. Do not paint. That came through May 20th, 1987. So he was really good about keeping his work orders. This is for the character Gray Man. I don't know visionaries that well, so I'll probably butcher some of this stuff. Looks like Gray Man again. Uh, this is Anti Burn DL. Let's see. Gray Man SK, maybe. But you guys can read all this paperwork when you buy it. Let's see. This is a Cybro Serpent, maybe. Cybro Serpent. This is Dolphin. Anti Burn DC. Okay, and then uh, these are the invoices that he would send. Um, they're handwritten. These are handwritten. Not all of them are handwritten. But it's interesting to see uh, which which characters he was working on and what he billed for it. So, for example, this is ABCD, and it's 1,000, 1,000, 1,900, and 2,100 for a total of 6,000. So if you're curious about pricing for this task back in the day, Sky Bucket SK, obverse, meaning one side, and reverse, meaning the other side, $3,500 each, so $7,000 to sculpt the holograms that were part of that vehicle. Uh, Visionaries had two holograms on the vehicles, one on each side, that were larger. Uh, this is the Crossbow DL holograms, and $1,200 apiece for those. So it's fun to see some of the pricing. Uh, Bill made a good living doing this back in the day. Um, this had, I was torn on this one because it has a G.I. Joe thing in here, which is the Super Trooper Kevlar Vest. Uh, they charge $1,500 to sculpt, just the vest. Um, but then there's also two visionary holograms on here. And since the visionary holograms were $2,400 and $7,000, I decided to put this in the visionary set. But I was torn on that one, guys. Don't blame me if you think it should be in the G.I. Joe pile. Um, let's see. Confirm material received, freelance work, holographic sculptures of Cobra, Baby Snake, Antiburon 1, and Antiburon 2. $5,000. So anyway, there's work request forms where they were giving him the assignment and then there's invoices and like proofs of payment for that stuff. So that's interesting. This is for the baby snake for visionaries. This is for crossbow. Crossbow. It's a vehicle, evidently. Image is the Medusa head, which is really cool. You know, these are all signed and dated. They have target completion dates, like we need this from you by. Let's see, holographic sculpture for Sky Bucket. So this is basically when he was getting the assignment for each of these, Sky Bucket, due on August 31st, 1987. Cobra. All right, and then we're back to some of this paperwork. And again, uh, you see Gentile or Genteel, I'm not sure, that's somebody's name probably. And then Adams and Tyler all signed signed off on it. And this is the half machine, half man, winged Viking helmet, flaming arrow firing from mouth toward viewer. So this is just one of those visionary holo holograms and you see kind of the level of detail that they put into these images. And then Bill had to sculpt it incredibly small. This is an example of one of the vehicle holograms where they created the reverse image for the other side of the vehicle. So this is the sky bucket. So it'll be cool to have little runs of this. You'll have the work order, you know, where they gave him the assignment. You'll have, you know, kind of the background paperwork. This Medusa one is really cool. Um, again, you know, John Gentile, it looks like that's his name. He's probably the one that drew it. And I'm willing to bet he was part of uh, Continuity Studios with Neil Adams because you see Gentile's name on some of this stuff and you see Neil Adams' name on the rest of the stuff. This one is cool. So this is the Anti-Burn and that's signed by Neil Adams. And these have the official stamps on them, FYI. These are not photocopies of what Bill received. These are the actual documents that Bill received. I should have pointed that out up front. You know, on the on the in the collecting community, 
sometimes you'll find copies of copies. And in my opinion, those shouldn't be worth much at all because those could, those could be modern. These are stamped and original, you know, received by the sculpture department back in June of 1987, for example. So if you're collecting this kind of pre-production paperwork, I would say be on the lookout for any kind of color stamping. And that will be your indicator that it's it's an actual Hasbro produced um, an official copy that was that was sent out to a vendor like Bill Merkline to do the sculpting. If you don't have any of those markers on there, how do you know that you actually have a vintage piece of paperwork? I, I don't think you do. You know, obviously the paper could be aged and you might be able to tell that way. But outside of that, um, this one has some red markings on it. Again, just a bunch of holograms. And there's a few of these. There's a couple pages st stapled together here. And at least on the on the back of each page has those stamps. So, you know, this is the real deal. And obviously I'm coming to you straight from his house. So, you know, it's the real deal for that purpose. But beyond that, um, you know, if you ever go to resell these down the road or something, you'll be able to validate that they're authentic and original by those stamps. So that's very important. Here's a note from Ken Ellis, who was Hasbro's uh, manager of sculptors at the time. He worked for Roger Avery for several years. And then uh, I believe Ken Ellis came in maybe underneath Roger. And then eventually Roger left and Ken, was, Ken remained, something to that effect. There's a bunch of hologram drawings on that one. Another large one. These are stapled together, so I'm not going to pull them apart. That's basically like a giant dolphin with like a brain visible. That one's pretty creepy. If I was a kid, I would've been creeped out by that dolphin with his brain hanging out. This is another vehicle. This is the Sky Bucket SK. Really cool illustration on this one. Basically like Zeus riding a unicorn. Um, so he sculpted two of these and uh, he tried to get Ken Ellis uh, to, he tried to convince Ken Ellis that you could sculpt one and reverse the image, but uh, they didn't buy off on that, so he sculpted it twice, and he got paid twice, and I guess everybody wins. So there's multiple holograms on that sheet. And then you have some pretty, you know, gigantic fold-outs, but it's supposed to be one and one-eighth and nine-sixteenths, so you get the measurements there. This is multiple pages. These are all stamped as well. So that's a big packet of three. So yeah, this is the mother load for any of you visionaries collectors out there. Bill has got you covered. And uh, Bill, would like to sell these and would like to turn them into cash. And he's got some good plans for that money. So you guys, please uh, make a make generous offers. Um, I know in the GI Joe community, people pay a hundred bucks a sheet to uh, to get stuff like this that was used behind the scenes. I've, I've personally bought a lot of stuff from Ron Rudat back in the day, and it was never less than a hundred dollars a sheet. So uh, if this stuff means something to you, if this was very special, connected to your childhood, then it's worth it, in my opinion. If this is not very special to you, then don't bid on it, you know? Um, but if you love it and you're thinking, it, like, look at that Zeus image. That Zeus image is amazing. If you love it and you're thinking you could afford to throw a couple hundred dollars, you know, a few hundred dollars up to, depending on how many sheets you want. If you want a dozen sheets, I'm thinking you should be at least in the thousands range. Um, please reach out and let me know what you would like. Again, this is signed by Neil Adams and it's stamped. So very cool to get, you know, some visionary stuff, some Neil Adams work at the same time. And obviously from the studio of Bill Merkline, sometimes with random sketches and stuff on it. So that wraps it up for the visionaries. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. And again, I think the best best way going forward um, to liquidate these and turn these into cash for Mr. Merkline, we're probably going to use Venmo or uh, PayPal. And I'm going to have his friend uh, get, get their account set up and running. And um, she'll collect that money directly. 
I will not make a nickel. I don't want a nickel. And uh, so you'll be dealing directly with them. But if there's something in here that you see that you want to make an offer on, um, please do uh, reach out. You can reach me uh, through 3djoes.com. There's Facebook and Twitter links at the top. Um, probably going to throw this on YouTube as well. So you could uh, drop something in the comments there and let me know that you're interested and I will follow up with you guys. And if you think there's a, a site that I should put these on that will best reach the Visionaries audience, please let me know that as well. Thank you guys for your interest. Thank you for watching. Please share with other Visionaries fans. Talk to you soon.